Well, now let's take a look at the top election-related updates of the day. Congress President Sonia Gandhi will file her nomination papers from Rai Bareilly constituency today. Sonia will now be contesting against BJP candidate Ajay Agarwal. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi accompanied his mother during filing her nomination. She was welcomed with a shower of rose petals while Rahul Gandhi turned chauffeur. Aap Chief Arvind Kejriwal faced the eye of Delhi ads today. People showed black flags to Kejriwal and his party members during the road show in the national capital. Kejriwal was holding his road show in East Delhi. PSP Chief Mayavati is also to begin her election campaign in Uttar Pradesh from tomorrow. Mayavati is expected to address her first election rally in Bijnor and another rally in Aligarh. She is also expected to address a public rally at Muzaffar Nagar. This would be her first visit to Muzaffar Nagar and the communal after the communal riots broke out in September last year. Hate speeches seem to be increasing this election season. Yet another Congress leader has targeted Narendra Modi. The Congress leader Beni Prasad has called Modi a goon of the RSS. He further attacked BJP President Rajnath Singh and said that he is a slave of Narendra Modi. After making a comment on Narendra Modi, Uma Bharati now talks about senior BJP leader L.K. Advani. Uma Bharati says that she has made a... An observation about Advani, she said that even Advani is not a good orator, even though she has the same comment for Advani. Bharati also said that this should not be taken in a negative manner, as it is only an assessment. She further added that her comment on Modi has been distorted by the media. Karnataka Chief Minister Sidharamaya today took a dig at Narendra Modi. Comparing himself uh, to Modi, Sidharamaya said that he is just a chief minister like himself and that he has not descended from heaven. He also said that there is no Modi wave in Karnataka. Modi Prabhavana Kuda in Lali Karnadi. So Agagi Modi Ale or Prabhava Ide Matadar Mele and the Katadubri or BJP or Pacharashti. Nene Edura from Bakanodi, Yena Tedira. And the other I gave it to Edura Pera the Sudan. Now, now, our year that give three years that is And then now, Modi Bagi, Matada Yogala Modi Nanaga, Gujarat, who came with the rest of it. Our Deolog in Pandavala Ali Nurajana Satira Nijawa Nurajana Satira Nija Court Nelly, evidence in the name, case was our text name. Kaliyagira Sulu and Tela Kagata, Satira Sulu and Tela Kagata. For want of evidence, I give to them. It doesn't mean. Former External Affairs Minister SM Krishna kick started his poll campaign from uh, Bengaluru Central constituency today. SM Krishna has been trying to mend the split between Ambarisha supporters and Ramya supporters over the presidentship of the Congress Committee by Atmananda. Krishna is also expected to inaugurate a Mandya Congress Parliamentary Constituency Campaign Office while campaigning for Mandya MP Ramya today. It's a big day for Bihar today as two major political rivals are expected to address two rallies just 25 kilometers away from each other. Narendra Modi and Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar will be addressing rallies at Nevada district of the state. Modi's aim behind holding this rally is to gather support for Bihar Minister Giriraj Singh, while Kumar will be gathering support for Kaushal Yadav. 
BJP candidate from Raichur constituency Shivan Gowda called Congress candidate B.V. Nayak a rapist. His comment has now put him into trouble. The local Congress unit has decided to lodge a complaint against him for calling their candidate a rapist. Infuriated by the comment, Nayak will be lodging a complaint with the election officers. BJP leader Shobha Karanlaji seems confident about Narendra Modi becoming the Prime Minister of our country. Shobha was seen campaigning in Chikmagaluru today. She went from door to door seeking votes as she wooed the women voters in the constituency. She said that people of our country are annoyed with Congress and the JDS and thus want Modi to become our next Prime Minister.